Do you want this? Here in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up this unique desktop customization within just few minutes and of course, without doing too much. Welcome to this channel. Let's get straight to it. Now, first of all, we're going to make some changes here on this tax bar. Go onto your tax bar, right click on it. I'm going to go to tax bar settings. Here in taskbar settings, go ahead and toggle off any of these widgets that you don't need, starting from task view. Just going to toggle this off. On the search box, we're going to expand this and we're going to change this to hide. After doing that, go ahead and close this. Now, as we can see, this taskbar is looking much better. The next thing we're going to do right now is to make this taskbar transparent. Now we head on to Microsoft Store. Right here, we're going to search for translucent TV. Here it is. Go ahead and click on that. Select install. Proceed to open it. Click on open and continue. Now we have this transparent taskbar and we're going to proceed to the next step. I'm going to minimize this. Now we'll proceed to the browser. Now we have these links which I'll be leaving for you in the description. The first one here is this theme file, this samurai themes. Go to this download icon, click on that. Once download is complete, go ahead to the file location. Now here in the download, we have the zip file here, which we just downloaded. Just right click on it. And I'm going to extract. I'm using WinRAR here. Just going to extract it. Open the folder. In this folder, we have two other folders. The first one is images and RM skin. First of all, just open the images. Highlight on this wallpaper. Right click on it and set as desktop background. When we head on to our desktop, you can see we have this wallpaper and uh, obviously we're not done yet. We're going to head on to the next step, head on back to the browser. And here we have raymeter.net. Just go ahead right here and click on this download link. Now download is completed. Right up, we just go ahead and install raymeter. Okay, just click on it to install it and proceed to OK. I'm going to minimize this. Go on to next. Install finish. After installing Remeter, you're going to get this. Uh, just right click on it and unload skin. Unload skin on everything here. Okay. So now we have Remeter installed. We're going to add the Remeter skins. Now we head back to download folder. Open this RM skins folder. So we have the Remeter skins right here. First of all, we're going to install this one. Just core. Just double click on that. Click on install. Let me minimize this. Select get started. Continue. Continue. Continue again. And proceed. Here, choose I'll get them later. Here's what the Jax core interface looks like. Now proceed here to library. Click on this one. First of all, we're going to add modular clocks. And right here, just select this one here, click on that, go up to this download icon right here and click on it. I'm just going to X on this, close this, proceed to the left side here, toggle this on to activate it. Okay. By default, you're going to get one of these clocks popping out here, but this is not what we want. So we're going to go right here to general. And on that general, you have these options right here of all the clocks here. I'm going to choose this one here. Just click on that. All right. This is what we want. We're going to make some slight changes to these. I'm going to go right here to style options. Click on style options. And first of all, we're going to change the widget size right here. Just type 0.8 and tap on enter. Okay. Uh, so you can see the size has reduced, which is much better. So we're going to make a slight change to this color right here. Now proceed to color render, arc color. Just click on this, highlight on this, leave the first two to five. And the other one is going to be one, zero, nine, put a comma, then five. Okay. And tap on enter. Beautiful. As you can see, we have this orange color on the arc right here, and it matches well with this character we have here. So I'm going to drag this to the right side. Just going to put it right here. That is where we want it to be. Just going to leave it right here. Now we have our modular clock. The next one we're going to add is the modular player. Okay. 
to do that we're going to go back to this home just click on this home icon right here click on that and we're going to go back to library and here we're going to select modular players click on that and again go to this download icon just click on that wait for the process okay proceed to activate modular players go up here and toggle it on so by default you're going to get one of these players so we proceed to this general go to general we have other options here for these players and i'm going to choose this one let's click on this all right just going to drag this down now we'll make some changes to this player we'll go right here to style options click on that first thing we're going to do is to change this widget scale to 0 0.7 tap on enter this is looking better so we're going to bring it down here now you're going to ensure this blow variant is on acrylic and this rounding we're going to put it on standard select standard and now as you can see we have these nice curves at the edges right here so we're done with just core now we're going to close this and we're going to proceed to the next one proceed to download the next one right here is fountain of colors double click on that select install okay i'm going to minimize this as i speak you can see some movement around here and um, obviously this is not the final result and this is looking too big and we're going to make some changes right here and i'm going to drag this down first okay first of all here in visualizer we're going to set the bar width to set this to two and the next one the bar gap we're going to set this to four all right now as we can see it's looking more smaller and even better the next one i'm going to do right here is the bar count it's going to drag it down to 47 all right okay At the sensitivity we don't have to do much here i'm just going to drag it down to 38 just to reduce it a bit i'm going to drag the smoothing level to eight put it up to eight we'll proceed to general here in general we're going to set this to 212 and now the rotation angle we're going to drag this forward and i'm going to make it 179 179 okay all right just the way we want it upside down so i'm just tempted to change the color as well because um why not if you like the color this way you can leave it as it is i want it to match with this character we have here so i'm going to change this color to orange and to do that we're going to go to styling if you click on more you can actually modify these colors to make it more accurate to make this easy of all these options i'm just going to click on this one just select that all right now as we can see we have this orange color which matches well with this character we have here and it's looking good but we're not done yet to make this better just click on this fading peak effect all right so as you can see this gives this nice fade effect so this is exactly what you will get when you play sounds on your computer i think we're done with this visualizer so i'm just gonna click on this close it anytime you want to access the setting of this visualizer all you have to do is to click on it it's as easy as that once you click on that it pops out and you close it just gonna hide these icons right here just right click on your desktop go to view and select show desktop icons now that's out of the way we proceed to our download folder and here we're going to download this mii power just double click on that select install I'm going to minimize this we're going to locate this in our rain meter settings okay go right here and we're going to look for rain meter icon right here and just select this icon and here we have mii power just expand this expand the power so we have two options right here we have b.ini we have w.ini b for black w for white because we want the white one just highlight on this and select load i'm going to minimize this and i'm going to drag this drag it all the way so now we'll proceed to this final step which is to install the lively wallpaper go on to your microsoft store we're going to search for lively wallpaper right here just click on that proceed to install go ahead and open it we have this lively wallpaper right here proceed to download folder and we'll go back to these images we have this live wallpaper I'm gonna minimize this now drag this live wallpaper into the lively wallpaper app select ok
all right now guys as you can see we have this live wallpaper which is looking pretty cool and it's just awesome i know most of us are worried about the impact of this live wallpaper on our battery life and also on our computer so if you're worried about any negative impact of this live wallpaper and you just have to skip this step okay that's gonna be all for now guys leave this video a like also remember to subscribe to this channel have a nice day and peace out